Fox City 5 meteorologist Caleb Taylor continues our team coverage of the summer sizzle. It's 12.29 p.m. at Jury Pool in New Haven, and people have lined the sidewalks waiting to beat the heat by taking a dip in the pool. Kim Yo, the aquatics director for New Haven Parks Department, makes sure her staff of lifeguards is ready to go. It's 85 degrees and only getting hotter, keeping a steady stream of swimmers coming. We had 1,620 people on Saturday. Then we also had about 1,580 on Friday. That means hundreds of people in the pool at once. With numbers like that, it can be difficult for lifeguards to do their job. Collectively, they have to monitor each and every swimmer in the pool, not to mention the ones outside of the pool. Some of the things that we see most of the time are 12, 13-year-old kids who probably are here with another group of kids don't want to admit to them that they can't swim. If someone jumps in and can't swim or touch, lifeguards may have to go in after them, leaving people wondering, why weren't you watching my kid? The parents are always shocked and they have said to us, you know, I thought there were lifeguards here. So we just try to make sure that the parents know that we're here in case of emergency and to make sure that they stay safe, but we're not the babysitters while we're here. These lifeguards are trained in pool rescue, CPR, first aid, and using an AED. But Yo wants people to know that the pool is not a babysitting service. We take safety as our first issue here, then allow them to be more comfortable in the water. And they do that in multiple ways. They educate swimmers before they enter the pool and explain the rules. They also offer swim lessons to those less experienced swimmers, but they want to make sure that you're watching those less experienced swimmers as well. We are actually lifeguarding, following the rules, and responding to any emergencies that happen, and that way they can be a part of it with the parent in the water also. In New Haven, Caleb Saylor, Fox 55 News.